All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to our weekly uh, sermon preview video. And so this week, uh, we are preparing for Romans chapter 7. We are just moving right along. We're about halfway, or almost halfway through uh, the letter to the Romans. And we have talked so much uh, about righteousness and about what Paul has to say about it, how he uh, thinks about God's righteousness and our righteousness and all of that, you know, put together. Um, last week, we jumped into chapter 6 uh, and we began this this. Um, and a short kind of break, the section in Romans chapter 6, 7, and 8, where Paul is really dealing with and talking to the Roman Christians about what is their response, what is their ethical and behavioral response to the fact that Christ has done such this wonderful thing for them by when they were enemies with God, he gave himself, right? He, he is this free gift of God to us, sacrificing himself. Um, and so right in the middle of this little, you know, three chapter uh, little uh, breaking in, or uh, I don't know what you call it, but, but little sermonette in the middle of this letter, chapter seven comes and, uh, and it's kind of a doozy of a chapter. Uh, Paul is really um, wrestling, you know, it might be the right way to say it. He is, uh, he's been talking about how we should no longer be slave to sin, that we can't be slaves to sin any longer if we're going to be slaves to righteousness, slaves to God. But Paul also understands sin is in the world and sin is still a part of the Christian life, even though we don't want it to be. And that's what Paul is wrestling with. <clears throat> How can he be a Christian, an apostle even, and still be a sinner? And so we're going to talk about that. What does that look like? Um, that, that's one of the, the big things to take away from chapter 7. Another of the big things to, to look at and take away is how he ends the chapter and how it launches us into chapter 8. Because in chapter 7, he ends the chapter by talking about Jesus. Uh, that, yes, this is a part of life, but Jesus. I mean, that's essentially what he's going to say, but Jesus. What does that mean? Well, he gets he, he brings that, that out more in chapter 8. And of course, you know, we have to remember, there weren't chapter numbers back when Paul wrote this. So he's just expecting the Romans to read this through. But for us, in chapter 8 next week, we're going to see the fulfillment of this. But Jesus, well, but Jesus, in Jesus, there is no condemnation, even for a Christian who continues to sin. There is now no condemnation because nothing can separate us from the love of God. Now, that's chapter 8. And we're going to save that, but that's kind of where it's going. That's the trajectory that Paul has uh, for, uh, for this letter right now. Um, and so, it, to me, it, it's helpful to, to keep that in mind as we read chapter 7, and knowing <clears throat> kind of what, what is coming up in chapter 7. Um, so, there's a lot that's, that's really good to talk about. I'm looking forward to getting into it with you. I hope that you're blessed by reading it. I hope that you've had a wonderful week. Uh, and I hope that I get to see you on Sunday, that, that you will uh, be able to, to join us. If not, um, you know, that's okay. Uh, read with us. Uh, uh, you know, read chapter 7. Take from it what you can. You know, what is speaking to you uh, this this week from Romans chapter 7? Because there's so much there. You know, I don't have time to, to cover it all. All right. That's what I want to talk about. That's kind of where we're going. Uh, I hope that I get to see you all. But if not, that's okay, too. I just hope that everybody has a wonderful and blessed rest of this week.